A couple of months back in the summer, we had covered a GPT-4 coding assistant. This was a project called Mentat. It's a groundbreaking development in the realm of coding assistance, as it's something that leverages the power of GPT-4 as well as providing an open source framework. It is a command line based coding assistant that is able to have the context of your whole code base. Now, unlike different types of coding assistants like Copilot, as well as the other ones that popped up in the summer, we're able to see that Mentat was able to distinguish itself by seamlessly integrating with the user's project's context. It's able to operate directly within the command line environment, which is able to give Mentat a comprehensive understanding of the project. It eliminates the need for manual copying and pasting of code snippets, and it was a project that would basically help you uh, like in various different tasks related to coding now the great thing is is that this project and the dev have been developing this project further since the summer and they were able to incorporate the new gpt4 vision upgrade now this incorporation of gpt4 enhances mensat's capabilities further and this is something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video but with this new upgraded vision update we're able to see that it enables mensat to not only understand code syntaxes but it's able to also visually comprehend the structure as well as the layout of a code base this is quite big as the visual understanding allows mentat to make more contextually relevant suggestions as well as providing better edits which will streamline the process for coding in various code bases now this improved vision capability of gpt4 is something that empowers mentat to provide more accurate and context of their assistance which is going to be really useful for a lot of developers now, throughout today's video, we're going to take a look at Mentat further by taking a look at some of the new capabilities of it. We're also going to take a look at how you can get started with it and so much more. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. If you would like to access our private Discord where you can access subscriptions to AI tools for free, you have consulting, you have investment opportunities, collaboration, and so much more, definitely take a look at this link in the description below. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Mentat once again, as this is a powerful AI tool that is designed to be your personal coding assistant. Now, it can help you in various different coding tasks directly in your command line, and it's something that is very useful for a lot of people. Now, it distinguishes itself from other types of coding assistants like Copilot, for example, by offering features such as coordination, you have the new integration of GPT-4 Vision. You have the ability to edit across multiple locations and files, as well as having the ability to understand a user's project's context. This is something that eliminates the need for manual copying and pasting. Now, let's just take a look at the overview for Mentat, as this will give us a better idea as to what you can do with it. Now, one thing that we know is that it's able to transform the coding process by letting you work directly in your command line. This is by eliminating the hassle of copying and pasting between your IDE as well as a separate browser window, for example, ChatGPT. So in this case, you can just work within Visual Studio Code, for example, and have it generate within that environment. Now, another thing is that it's able to stand out with its automatic understanding of existing code. This basically means that it's able to give the relevance of context to Mentat so that it's able to make more tailored suggestions as well as coordinate different edits across different files seamlessly. Now, we've seen Copilot, for example, different types of coding assistants like ADAR, but Mentat doesn't just simply suggest code, it actively writes it for you. It's a code generation assistant tool that is going to boost efficiency and productivity within your own local environment. Now, you're able to work with various different types of existing code as well as creating new scripts within the environment that you set Mentat in. And this is where Mentat can actually adapt to various different types of environments as it's able to serve with its versatile capability of having a companion type of assistant throughout your whole coding needs or throughout your whole coding tasks. Now, 
It's able to streamline and enhance coding by providing a more intricate, more proactive, and more hands-on approach, whereas other types of coding assistants cannot actually provide that capability. Now, I just want to showcase another cool feature, and this is where it gives you the ability to have auto context within your code base. Now, this is a huge time saver as it can automatically pick the right files in your code, which is something that makes tasks like question answering or any sort of task where you need to figure out complex code and finding and replacing stuff much quicker so it's like a handy tool for saving you time especially when you're dealing with big code projects and you can see that you simply just need to type in where you need to give menta auto context large code bases generally q a over all of it and with this relevance within the code files you're able to set this up once you have inputted your key now once this is done if you go on further you're able to see that it gives you the context across various files and you're able to see in this demo video which i can leave a link to in the description below in this case you're also able to do various different things where it can reason across several files you can have semantic find and replace which is a really cool feature that they've integrated very recently now the developers of menta have also released another cool feature is where you can do slash run and slash talk now with slash run you can basically execute terminal commands directly with the menta framework which is going to help you quickly fix things like failing tests or different types of broken scripts without needing any sort of help now, on the other hand, you also have this other command, which is slash talk. And this is like having a voice to text tool within Mentat. Now, this is a new feature that makes it easy to explain tasks verbally. Now, this is really helpful for a lot of people who just want to have a Siri type of voice assistant, but with their code. Now, this is something where it uses GPT-4 Vision, as well as the new multimodal features within that update, which lets you have real tasks being executed through verbal local like basic prompts now this is a way that you can swiftly troubleshoot based off your own voice which is really cool to see and i definitely like this new enhancement as you have new ways to interact with menta as you have your own voice to do so now if you're interested in installing this you should definitely take a look at my previous video on menta as i do a full installation tutorial on how you can install it locally on your desktop now i really don't want to get into the installation process as it's kind of repetitive over every single video it's something that i don't want to waste too much time on as i already made a video on this previously so take a look at this link in the description below so that you can get a better idea as to how you can install mentat locally on your desktop it's the same process as today as the one that was there previously four months ago now on this channel i've covered various different types of different coding assistants that have incorporated ai within their frameworks now many people ask what's the true purpose of using it like how can you actually use it obviously but what's like the true purpose well it's kind of hard to integrate this within your own code base if you do not have any sort of idea as to how you can integrate various frameworks with your own code base so first things first is you need to understand how to do that obviously but this is something that i always try to introduce on this channel to become a go-to tool that can help you speed up in terms of coding tasks this is the main reason why i focus on various types of ai coding assistance because it is very useful for a lot of people as they're designed to help developers become faster and more productive this is where they're able to have the ability to handle various different tasks as well as having it so that the coding assistant can do all the hard labor tasks that you would not want to actually do now there's three ways that i would recommend that you would want to use this and these are the ones that they've also mentioned firstly you want to use their debugging across files feature and this is where you can fix code issues spread across different sources different files as well as in different areas on your computer or different drives it's going to make it so much more easier to debug quicker and more efficiently secondly you want it so that it can learn new code bases and this is where you're able to have it dive into new code bases and it's able to assist you in those various environments it can help you understand start coding as well as have it so that it can work on different things that it doesn't actually have prior context to which will save you a lot of time and effort 
Lastly, you can have it so that it can generate code for new projects. This is a really easy way for you to have the first prototype of your code generated. This is a way that doesn't require you to generate the base code for various different types of things such as setting uh, environment up or setting different types of code that are needed to have an app functional. Now it's just great to see that the developer behind Menta has been continuously working on his project. It's great to see that they continuously work on improving this project over the months by incorporating various features that would be very beneficial for a lot of us. So definitely keep an eye on this project guys. I covered it before when it was only, it was fairly new. I was possibly the first one to actually cover it on YouTube and it has actually grown quite well over the recent months. I love going back on projects to see how well they're doing and today's video was something that got the idea to do so. So I really wanted to see how this project was doing and it looks like it has done a great job over the recent months. So I highly recommend that you check this out guys. I'll leave all the links in the description below so that you can access it fairly easily. But with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys check out the Patreon page if you want to access our private Discord. Make sure you follow us on Twitter to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out fellas.